Well, I would start off by saying that an SSBN is one of the most complex, uh, technologically demanding uh, machines ever built by man. The B stands for ballistic missile, the N stands for nuclear, meaning it's nuclear powered, um, and the SS is what we use to denote submarines. Stealth for the submarine, that is our bread and butter. You don't see us, you don't hear us, you don't know where we're at, what we're doing, we just, you know that we're out there. Silent but deadly, cannot be found. It's just an insurmountable task to find that submarine and prevent that submarine from executing its mission. You have a better chance finding a needle in a haystack than you do finding an SSBN underwater. Uh, the SSBNs feature the uh, Trident II uh, D-5 missile system. Uh, it's the most credible uh, strategic deterrent ever fielded uh, in the history of the world. Man, battle station for missile for strategic launch. Spin up all missiles. We test it uh, frequently. Uh, we know that it works. Our adversaries know that it works. The order to launch is authorized by the President of the United States. It has to be validated on board and agreed upon by four personnel prior to being able to even attempt to obtain the key to conduct the launch. XO, message one. Request permission to authenticate message one. Authenticate message one. Hey, Kirk, I missed one authentication. Message is authentic, action directed. If you launch against us, we will respond. And we will respond in a manner that you cannot defend yourself from. The launch is authorized. Once we're underway, the submarine in and of itself uh, would rate probably about the fifth most powerful nuclear nation in the world. Because of that fact, uh, adversaries have to take pause and think about potential consequences of their actions. Future of the submarine force, uh, the sky's the limit. Okay? Right now, the technology that we have and still creating is causing one submarine to go out and take cover areas that three or four service ships couldn't cover by themselves. Okay? All the personnel coming into the submarine force today will be the cream of the crop and the elite of the Navy. They're gonna have the best technology, the best trained people, bar none of any service I feel that we have today.